This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. Alright, so it's the 33rd episode of the podcast right here at the Manila Domestic Passenger Terminal. And I'm with Sere, as always, our mainstay from the Lily Cat Vlog. Kamusta? Hello, hi. I just galing pa ako Soler and the Makati and then here, so hi. So, uh, nilubos niya ang uh, buong uh, stay, you know, dito sa Manila as she went to the uh, Big Bad Wolf book fair as well as the Pad of the Opera. Serena is a hardcore fan of Broadway theater. Uh, maybe uh, setting aside the uh, aside from that Broadway theater, mm. no? Uh, beyond Broadway theater din, no? Mm, yeah. Mm-mm. Right, um, so we have a casual discussion as always, and uh, we're bound to Cebu as we speak. We're bound to Cebu for Otaku Fest 2019. Uh, let me let me just share my experience. I, I think I'm repeating myself here, uh, but yeah, um, I remember one time during our uh, full length travelogue going to Singapore, I paid for prepaid baggage on Cebu Pacific, and this time uh, I'm with Air Asia now. But then again, I relied on the 7 kilogram hand carry baggage. Not uh, be, of course, I'm still being clueless at this time. That uh, after all my flights, I'm still clueless. That I brought my pull up banner and my other luggage. And pwede kong i hand carry yung luggage ko for two bags. Pero hindi ko talaga may iwasan yung pull up banner. Kasi. It, uh, the, the charge for prepaid baggage is 400 pesos for each flight I got charged like 150% more uh, if I check in directly sa counter so that's uh, I, I, I don't know if I charge it to experience kasi dapat alam ko na yan but maybe, maybe, maybe of course uh, may accountability na rin kasi I didn't ask Ari diba sabay tayo nagbook online yeah. Yeah. I think we were all, we were communicating pa nga through voice chat eh. Yeah, yeah, but stupid me I didn't add prepaid baggage so, in my ano. <laughs> I think I had a check-in baggage and I have a meal on the flight. Ewan ko. Basta yung, the I have I has check-in baggage. So yeah. mm. Right. So that's Air Asia for us. First time, yeah, uh, first time, my first time going to Air Asia, and I only got hundred uh, Air Asia big points. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't, I don't know because um, my experience with Air Asia so far, this again, this is my first flight. But I've uh, in my career as a event professional, uh, we had uh, last year we had uh, our customer experience management conference, and one of the speakers there is from Air Asia Big Loyalty. So yeah, uh, well, my first time to experience it, and maybe I share my experience too. Uh, notwithstanding what I'd mentioned uh, just now, uh, I am I, I, I'm really not sure with how Air Asia system works. Because the um, charge for their web service is 500 pesos. I think uh, I think it's the the prices are just different when you're like you're like already on the spot, I guess. So I, it's like telling you, like, hey, if you want, if you want to pay less, you just do stuff, do stuff in advance or online rather than facing us, mm-hmm. something, something like that. Mm-hmm. Say, in, in, this is online, na this is online, na, the five hundred pesos online charge. Mm-hmm. Ayun. So yun nga, and this is compared to like Cebu Pacific's. Uh, I'm, 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 I, 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 kasi amin nakasas sa flight eh, so I don't really know if, uh, paano ko babalanse eh, Pero maybe, maybe I'll check, double check again. Mm-hmm. So, enough with the flight talk. It's time to mention the <coughs> Big Bad Wolf book fair. Um, can you give me an estimate? How many books have you bought and how much have you uh, have you spent? Uh, I think I've bought like around 10 or more than 10. Like 11, I guess. Mm. It's, it's priced at 2,100 plus. So, hindi, uh, hindi naabot ng 2,200 pesos. And so, that's almost a dozen of books na. Hmm. So, uh, majority I got are... Well, I actually give props to Big Bad Wolf because they have classics. 
Si merong malaking ano, they merong malaking Shakespeare book that has all of Shakespeare's works already and it was only like 300 pesos or 3 plus pesos so I insta buy fam and what I'm actually I think one of the favorite books that I got from them is yung ano yung yung sa Marvel na uh, Wizard Marvel Comics na Wizard of Oz na graphic novels like their adaptation of The Wizard of Oz I think I got I got the Wizard of Oz and the Emerald City of Oz graphic novels and those were the ones that are pricey and the others were just um, paperback novels and stuff okay so from those um, rare items uh, sa tingin mo magkano yung uh, how, how many percent kumbaga yung binayad mo compared to its original SRP I'm not really well I don't have knowledge on the original SRP of those prices but considering the thickness of of the books usually like thick books usually cost around like uh, nearly like 1k or more than that if it's really that super thick uh, the Shakespeare book I was probably I, I was thinking like the the re, the SRP for it was like around 800 plus or 900 plus and now it's like Big Bad Wolf's price was like 300 so it's a good deal it's almost like 30 per, uh, it's like 50% well they were promoting that the books are like from 20% to, to 50% discount and what's nice about it is they are open 24 hours so even if uh, uh, say kung ready na ako uh, if nahanda-handa ako ng pag impake prepared everything and uh, nag-uubos ako ng oras maybe I can spend my time there oh yeah pwede because they're like uh, I'm not sure until I think until first week of March lang sila but they're open 24 hours mm-hmm. like I was there like um, around 9 in the morning or like quarter to 9 in the morning and there were like lots of people already and uh, just just a tip to those who are going bawal ang food like food uh, food and water bawal kasi may ano naman kasi may may food stuff sa mansano at the end oh at the end of the hall at sa, at sa, at, I think sa tent yeah sa tent oh no Ayun, so uh, yeah, yeah, that's a big bad wolf book sale. I'm look, also looking forward to get in there for the first time. Kung si Pagi na kung malis. Because it's the World Trade Center. And it's just a, it's just out of the way, out of MOA. You have to get to, hop to another jeep. Mm. Just to go to World Trade Center. But the World Trade Center, as much as I hated how I go there. It's the first in the Philippines mm. around 1980s. It's in the book called Professional Events Management. Now, I mentioned this, uh, I, I think I've mentioned this before sa mga friends ko sa Facebook, but yeah, I, I actually have copies of the book, uh, courtesy of my boss, and I'm selling uh, copies. So hit me up if you want a copy. Professional Events Management written by the guys behind BOA, Press of Anime, ToyCon, and the World Food Expo. Yeah, mm-hmm. nasing it ko lang. Because we are, we're talking about books and this is a book. And, mm-hmm. and Sereas, uh, uh, Sereas arranged for a copy of the book too as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to one, uh, doing wonders. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Okay. Well, we have we have plans. I don't wanna I don't wanna mention the plans, but. Baka ba ba ba? Baka ma botata. Ha? Baka ma bolilyaso. And uh, basta, like everything is like set in stone, but we just, we just don't wanna announce it. Okay. Then. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, we will be talking about the next set of events, part of the opera, and our prelude to Otaku Fest. What we we plan to do. And this and more uh, in just a few moments. I'm actually very worried of how we're going to manage the time because aside from covering the key events of Otaku Fest, like I actually have meetings with other people. Like not just like hi hello kind of meeting with friends. It's like like you know like like catching up kind of catching up kind of moments. So I'm still trying to like. How do I schedule this? But uh, of course, I think they'll probably understand that we are like media partners for Otaku Fest, so like we are kind of preoccupied and she's so yeah. 
And this is compared to their previous poster. If you've previ- uh, seen closely the previous poster, ang natira lang so far sa mga media parties is queensitysabu.com of which uh, maybe we can meet them for future references. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah. Pero, pero tayong tatlo lang yata eh. Yeah, tatlong. Uh-huh. Tayo lang tatlo? Tayo, tayo lang tatlo eh. You can check the poster now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> sige lang, sige lang. Um, Kaya yeah. natin, fam. You can, okay. you can do this. Uh, it's, it's all a matter of Facebook Live. Oh, speaking of which, Pastel Mix. Okay, Pastel, pastel Mix is gonna be there. Pastel Mix is gonna be there. Manila loves them. Yes, Manila loves them and I love them too. <laughs> like, I was I was able to, like, on their first year, uh, Pastel Mix's first year, I was I was... I was able to witness them grow from year one until until present. So like yeah, they're 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 a big thing, fam, and I love them, heart, 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 heart. heart. and yeah. looking forward to meet them and the guys at Amox events because. Uh, Did you bring your light stick? Dala talaga ako ng light stick. May dala ako ng light stick pero I, this is the one that I bought at uh, which which boot that again I forgot it's not for key mm. it's hata hata yata ah. yun I bought it for 700 pesos pero I don't think the battery will stay that far mm. sige, and sige. nagpapatay patay na eh yeah. Yeah. same same ayun uh, huwag ko lang hatawin ng maigi pero naghahatawa ko maigi eh. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> ayun pastel mix yeah. we will be there we will be seeing you up, oh uh, as for me up close and personal <laughs> oh my god Still Actually, I only knew that they are going to Cebu just 24 hours. I think I, I think it was from your shared post or from Otaku Fest's post. But still, fam. Still, fam. Still, mix, fam. Wala, may makakasabay na ako mag uh, or yaka or what. Mag, mag-wata, mag-wata tayo, fam. Yet, diba, taiga. May, uh, ako, di ba nag tayo yung sa, yung sa nice, but just just that wala pa akong light stick doon pero now that I have a light stick I will go yakai <laughs> full grown yakai okay full grown yakai <laughs> yan. yan so that's just one part of Otaka Fest and really really guys uh, look at me how 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 ecstatic I am again yeah to and then uh, 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 forgive me for being repetitive and uh, again second time in Cebu first time to see an Otako event it's just so happened na yung first time ko sa Cebu uh, there is supposed to be a Tofikon eh, pero it's out of schedule uh, ayun uh, out of schedule out of uh, way okay um, is, uh, I'm going to open up something on on WCS Cebu qualifiers um, do you have any like heard of any teams na you are like common or mutual friends with or will be competing for WCS or even in pop culture Hiroshima? Actually, I uh, I haven't uh, tapped on it yet yes, kasi same. busy sa stuff and also um, with all due respect to the WCS committee, bihira sila mag-post ng updates mm. and, and uh, at one time I, I actually, I'm sorry I'm sorry to say this but I actually had to uh, kulit, make kulit to them. It would be like, because of course, I, I do, I do understand that the, the nuances behind all these things and things may change without prior notice. Pero at least one lang, may may story lang kami dito sa ano, because I've been monitoring WCS and my, my commitment to myself and to WCS is that I'll be sharing the story of WCS in the Philippines. Mm. Now, of course, that's hubris for me. Uh, in in my part, that's hubris. You can say it's hubris, pero uh, who cares? <laughs> Ayan. Moving back, I haven't got any idea so far. So yeah, what do same. you want to... Ano? Uh, I actually don't have any idea like who is really going to be competing in Cebu for the uh, Cebu qualifiers. But I I wish them good luck. And yeah, especially pop culture Hiroshima. Kasi di ba grand finals na ito? It's the, like the, the, the big enchilada na. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah. Good luck to them, fam. And I'm also excited for in, wala pang word on when the grand finals is right yung grand finals the ng, grand finals ayan, ng WCS. WCS wala pa wala pa so far pero if um do you have that feeling na baka sa ano baka sa Davao ulit I really hope it's in Manila yeah yeah <laughs> well I do hope it's in Davao because I can just take a bus <laughs> <laughs> Well, eight hours, eight hours bus kasi I'm based in Northern Mindanao. Mm. So like, if you're going to go to Davao, it really, uh, a non-stop bus, eight hours yan. 
So like, it's either I can take a flight na one hour long or eight an eight hour bus flight. I can do either way, fam. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so WCS uh, Pop Culture Hiroshima is interesting to me because this is my first time to experience uh, Tama lang actually, tama lang ang punta ko sa Otaka Fest because if they be, hold, they be holding the finals there, that will be the first time that I'll be seeing what Pop Culture Hiroshima is. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's, so uh, that's, speaking of Pop Culture Hiroshima, I'm so sorry but I ha- actually have no idea of... I just don't really have the full details of what, how, what, it, why is it different to WCS? I think it's more lax compared to WCS. It's mm. more like a tandem performing in costume and all that. So, singing, parang ano? Singing, you know. It's, it's, uh, ayoko sabing lesser. It's more of a lax kind of WCS. So, so there are like, there are flexible, like, pop culture Hiroshima is more flexible compared to WCS. Yes. Okay. As far as I understood that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, of course, one thing that made me interested about, uh, that made me interested about pop culture Hiroshima is Asami Imai went last year. Mm-hmm. That's Chihaya Kisaragi for all of you, peace. <laughs> and I'll be mentioning it, maghahanap ako na mga Cebuano na peace. We will be there. I will be there. I will meet you because I'm a Yuki Hopi. <laughs> and regardless of what people will say, I am a Yuki Hopi. <laughs> Bigyan niyo ako ng pala. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, that's just... Uh, 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 at this moment, we're just halfway to our episode 33 and ang dami natin pinag-usapan. Yeah, yeah. Like... Mm-hmm. Uh, kailan ang fight natin? It's still like, anong oras ba? It's, it's, it's 3.37. Uh, yes, 3.37 in the morning. And the flight is around 6. Ang boarding time natin is 5.20 in the yeah. morning. And again, Terminal 4, a.k.a. the Manila Domestic Passenger Terminal of Tinaia. Uh, this will be my last uh, last long haul na trip. Kasi wala pera. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I'm not really sure. On my case... Um, I'm actually planning to go back on the first week of March in Manila for uh, I'm watching an, I'm watching an opera and I'm watching a play but the other uh, on, on on the case of like uh, like otak, uh, conventions and stuff I'm I'm going to APCC and of course Cosmania Mm. Especially you see each other on uh, on cosplay mania. Ah, cosplay mania. Yeah. Of course, of course, it's cosplay mania. And uh, I'm also considering of attending cosplay Matsuri. Ah, the the year ender event. The year ender nila. And because uh, I've uh, I've received some feedback from from friends na maganda daw yung cos Matsuri parang uh, kung irank daw parang second sa sa cosplay mania on the in the case of cosplay.ph events mm. yeah actually yes but uh, may humahabol na event which is cosplay carnival, carnival and they and they will have the freedom guy aka si AK Wiro oh uh, really yeah really oh. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. freedom oh freedom <laughs> oh my oh yeah, yeah, I, so. I i i i learned so many things today yeah, napabili nga ako ng ticket when I, f- uh, I found out that AK Wiro will be there. Eh. Oh my God. Well, have fun, fam. Uh, we'll tell the story about Cosplay Matsuri. Uh, cosplay Matsuri. Cosplay Carnival, rather. No? Uh, uh, you know, you know, Cosplay that place has been uh, rolling out in the cosplay name for so long. and uh, like the OG of cosplay conventions? Yeah, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, in a sense. Yes, in a sense. Kasi sila yun talaga yung parang first or na, na stable or I don't mm, know. Stable. Yeah. Well, the, the, the second one, I, I don't know. Ah, kasi Ozine Fest happened in 2006. Cosplay Mania happened in which year? Uh, Early, I'm not really sure. Uh, cos, on the case of Cosplay Mania? Yeah. I think it big. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Cosplay.ph, if I make, if I make a mistake. Uh... 2008? So, mm. yeah. Uh, uh, it's either 2007 or 2008. It's either way, but mm. yeah. I think it's 08. 08. 08, yeah. 08. 08. Yeah, pero uh-huh. yung Ozin Fest, they started in 06. Oh, oh okay. Uh, pero, pero there was an explosion and all that. And then, mm. because, uh, well, well, it's, 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 it's part there of history. There was more earlier con with that before. Mm. I think it was 
hatohan ng hero. Ah, uh, the hero. <laughs> oh, hero. Oh, hero. Oh I, I could I could have brought my hero hoodie, pero I brought in my other hoodie. Yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, speaking of hoodies, it's a linyo na. Mm. Ah, I, I brought my water bottle na just in case. Mm. And uh, contrary to our, kung bakit di ba, uh, two weeks ago, sabi is malam, mas, mala, mas lalamig this February. Which yeah. is, which did it, it did happen. Mm, yeah, it did pero happen. Pero mainit pa rin. Yeah. And, you know. Parang bagyo yung nilamig, pero okay lang po. Mm-mm. And how was bagyo? Negative. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Negative temperature. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. That was that. Hindi ko pa. Ano po muntak ko dun sa bagyo for cost premium kasi with Arkady Mac. Hindi ko pa naranasan yung sobrang lamig doon. Yung sobrang lamig. Uh-oh. Mm. Pero naka naka jacket na ako noon. And so yet. Probably your probably yung timing niyo is during that period where it was a bit warm. <laughs> warm. <laughs> warm pa yun na. Eh? Warm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Tagus, I, I've tagus, never... Tagus na yung hangin dun sa jacket ko. And, oh. and it's still warm? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> but I'm considering a visiting bag- Baguio one of these days. It's mm. just that uh, my prios are musicals for now and they usually held in Manila or something. You'll have to fly to Clark uh, for that. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, to, to Clark na. Tapos sakay ka ng bus going to Baguio. Oh. And then... Kasi, How long is the bus ride from there? Okay, um, in my case, kasi it's uh, from Manila, from Cubao, Quezon City. Uh, siguro, mga two PP Lex, Starlock pa kasi ng La Union Expressway. It's half, uh, ilang oras ba yun? We, I went there with RKD Mac at around 1 a.m. or so. Yeah, 1 a.m. and then we got there mga 6 mga 5 hours. Oh, non-stop five to six yung hours. bus. Non-stop yeah. yung bus. May stopover pa yun. Oh, okay. May stopover pa yun. And by July, I'll be coming back there for cosplay, Tanabata, by invitation of the Cortina events team. Oh, okay. Uh, ang gagastusin ko lang is pamasahe, which is 1,000 pesos. Oh, okay. Uh, That's manageable. Uh-uh. Uh, above that, siguro, yeah, uh, I, I'm not really sure kung mag-lodging uh, ako dyan or I'll be ask, asking help with my colleagues sa uh, Arcade uh, I've, I've been going places na eh, no? This is, this, is, this is the first time na sobrang gala ka I've been going places. And I tallied all my events. I went to around more than 40. That's in, that includes anime screenings, uh, photo shoots, around... Hindi ko mabibigay so, mga 40 na events. Oh. My lifetime in, ten, in, uh, in it's my 10th year doing visiting these things, doing these things. It started in 2009 with Anime Overload Festival. So yeah, speaking of which, what's your uh, anime event story? Uh, anime events like uh, like covering? Yeah, how did you start there? What is what was your first event? Perhaps? I think the first event that I've ever like covered would probably be like officially as the Lily Cat. Uh, it, I think it's nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That was that was my first, but um parang yung role ko I wasn't really really like the the media sponsor. I was actually assisting you. Mm. But yeah, that's probably the first and I just covered the event as is and Actually, uh, majority and the other other stuff is um, yung mga promoting events of what URGL Philippines is doing. Because, yeah, I'm an, an administrator or something. And then uh, other events that I've covered, and, uh, this one, Otaku Fest. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah. yeah, Cosplay Mania. But on the case of my write-up for Cosplay Mania, it's published on another blog. Uh, I actually published it for JList, so yun. Yun. If yeah. you consider that, then yeah. yeah. So um, setting aside the writing stint, no, mm. what was the first event that you have went to on your lifetime? Um, it would, in the case of cosplay anime cosplay events, uh, it's actually the first ever event that I've attended was. It actually happened in a university. Uh, festival days nila it happens on the first week of December it's 
Xavier University Festival Days. And Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan University. Kasi Festival Days yun. And then, there was this like, Uh, anime or before it, it was it was active and right now it's like inactive it's CD Otaku and CD Otaku usually organizes events there like cosplay and then there's um, uh, tournament uh, Tekken tournaments and then there's uh, art contests and stuff and yun lang and then meet and greet with other uh, people in the community and, and I think that's my first And then Play Hype and CDO just grew and then there are more events na. So, but currently um yung prio ko na is yung events in Manila. Na I'm, well, I'm not sure if saying sorry for my local community is the right thing to say here but parang I'm just shifting my ano lang yung priorities ko when it comes to attending events. Though I do support but parang naglaylo lang ako for personal reasons but uh, ano yung prio ko talaga this year ay yung prio groups ko talaga is yung RGL Philippines and then sa mga yung mga key conventions sa uh, ano Manila kasi so, it's it's more fun actually and majority of the friends that I've been interacting with like Every for the past year. oh for the past couple of years is people in Manila but I'm not saying na my friends are Uh, like my my friends in CDO are like different or something it's just that um like kasi majority of the time na majority of the time sila yung kinakausap ko eh like um the vanilla friends and I, i also wanted to catch up with them and then share stuff and then they share their stuff to me the, that kind of thing so parang yung yung attention ko is meeting meeting online people Yes, meeting and, online people in and person. And making and making them real, uh, making them real friends. And then, nice. I think that's also that's also my motivation. That's also one of my motivations in traveling. That's why whenever like someone asks na, sinina bakit uh, parang like when say my bagong malaking event like announced like a month before and then seven, then I I book flight already accommodation and everything. It's like Selena, why? Why are you so fast in like booking this stuff? Like, guys, if it's something that I really love or something that I really committed to, I would, I would do that. And of course, savings fam. And then it tapat it timing mo na my my seat sale. Actually, I'm not sure if it's just RNG or what. Pero every time magbook ako ng flight, merong merong discount or may timing na seat sale. Nice, nice. Speaking of what you love, you lo- of course, we go back to theater. Mm. Na. Mm. Okay. Can you give me a spoiler free review of The Part of the Opera that you have watched mm. at Solaire? Okay. <clears throat> Get If you watch the if you watch the movie Phantom of the Opera starring starring Emmy Emmy Rossum or <laughs> Emmy Rossum and uh, Gerard Butler, get them off their minds, like seriously. Uh, there is a little bit of changes in the production, which which in my opinion is better because it gives more reason for people to watch the musical live. Kasi most of the people, most of the people na uh, excuse ng ibang tao is, bakit, why are you watching these musicals live na there's already a movie adaptation of Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> Even in, I'm, I'm so sorry for those who are really like fangirls or fanboys of it, but there is just really something wrong with the movie adaptation. There's, I actually loved it and it's actually one way of like, tell of like letting people know that it's it's phantom it's the musical and it's one of those things that got people into into the phantom <laughs> musical but still fam med, um tldr it's um the current the actually the current production of phantom there are there are some changes in the lyrics there's some changes in the songs and if you're really curious of those changes then you can You can watch it in Soler. I think they're only until second week of March. Limited lang yung limited lang yung run. Oh yeah, and yung next ano nila, the next musical that will be coming here is Cats for the second time. Second run nila dito. 
and uh, I do hope it uh, this musical I do hope na matiming siya on the cosplay mania season because I'm willing to extend Sweeney Todd and Leia Salonga is Mrs. Lover. Ooh. Yes. Okay, final question. <coughs> Does uh, do, uh, in the fan of the opera, do we have Junana in it? <laughs> <laughs> My god. <laughs> but yeah, um <laughs> there is there is this part, there was this part where um it was only like a few seconds lang, like 2 seconds lang nang imagine ko si si, si Kasi there was this there was this scene na uh, si Phantom and Christine were at the at the front at the center of the stage. Actually fam, nasa front row ako. Nasa first row, front row ako nasa middle. And they were at the center and then biglang yung ano ko yung yung wine cover flash for like 2 seconds. Oh, si Jun, <laughs> si <laughs> Si Nana. <laughs> and that, I think that's how we went through it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh Si Christine, um, to Revo Starlight fans, may isang angle na Christine looks like Tendo Maya. Wait, Ooh. yeah. Basta, I, it's really hard to explain now, but just just watch it, fam. If it's, if, uh, it's actually part of the Broadway musical starter pack. Or Broadway musical fan starter pack. Okay. I recommend Phantom of the Opera. Okay, there is also Sound of Music. If you want to go deeper, Les Miserables. But I started with... Red. Actually, uh, I actually started with... Uh, actually, tie with West Side Story and Phantom of the Opera. And then there was Sound of Music. So, yeah. Yun. So, and, uh, yeah, Phantom of the Opera is part of the, the starter pack. If you want to go... Deeper into Broadway and well, uh, oh, Lion King. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. The, oh, yeah. Speaking of that, Disney is also aside from getting getting all out with their live action adaptations of their like animated films, they're also getting into Broadway now. Like, there's. I'm not sure if you're aware that Hercules Hercules is heading to Broadway. Okay, yeah. so we. I think uh, with the her- with the series, animated series that I've watched before during my childhood, uh, it has a theater-esque element to it. Uh, so it have... Personal opinion, Hercules is not really... And in, in the case of Broadway level, it's not really... Um, Hercules is not really the... Not really, really that um, hype or not really that... Uh, Na, not really that hype for a to have it like in, in Broadway style. I can't really imagine it like a TLDR, but Hunchback of Notre Dame, though, yun ang pwede. Like, kasi the, the, the theater risk, yung, yung, ano, yung, yung music and lyrics, and the person who is doing the music is the same person who did. Oh, Pocahontas and also did Wicked Wicked the musical si Steven Schwartz so yeah uh, yeah. in the case of Wicked it's getting a movie adaptation but it won't be premiered this year and medyo nagtaka lang ako kung bakit mayroong mga fangirls ng musical na ba- sinabi nila why why ang tagal like people were waiting like years but mamove na naman it's like I don't really mind kasi if you're going to watch the I was able to watch the musical live yung first run ng Wicked in Manila and I'd really say na it takes a lot of guts to really put the entire thing to life especially in movie adaptations so I guess uh, there are just high expectations for Wicked and even I have high expectations for the movie adaptation so I do hope they don't it doesn't suck <laughs> so yeah I've uh, speaking of movies, have you watched Alita Battle Angel? Yes, I did. Yes. In the third year of my ano, my employment and work. Yeah. Sakta, I, I just realized it late. Oh, okay. So what do you think of it? Well, I didn't watch the original Alita. I, didn't, I have no idea when I watched this. I just realized in the end, after reading Wikipedia, that the voice of the original Alita in the Japanese dub is actually the voice of Taiga yes. in Fate, the Fate verse. Mm, so, yeah. 
who is also voice of uh, one of the antagonists in mm. Higurashi Nakokorni. Yeah. Um, I was actually... Uh, I was able to read the manga. It's actually an uh, it's actually an old manga, and it's one of those manga series that I've read. You know, the manga random manga readings that you get back in your like younger years. And I have to say, uh, I do understand why some people don't are criticizing this adaptation because they were expecting it to be as close to the manga. Well. It's ho- this is Hollywood, fam. It's it's oh, a Hollywood sorry, sorry. adaptation. Uh-huh. Pero compared to other Hollywood adaptations and even other planned Hollywood adaptations, I as I really appreciate this yeah, better. I... Dahil kasi, of course, the backstory of this is that James Cameron <coughs> is already planning to do this way back, way 2000s. Back. Yeah, like, I actually... I actually give him points that he's really, like, really pushing this and... Uh, if you're really like a fan of like cyberpunk, steampunk kind of thing themes, and probably this probably this 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 story is for you. I guess the reason why a lot of people don't like it is because feeling nila it's kind of old. But but knowing that this production, this this like project is based uh, started way back or conceptualized like way back, so two yeah. decades, two almost decades. decades. Oh, so like. Yeah, uh, the only turn off is well, well, well. It's Hollywood, but it's the romance. <laughs> romance. Oh my god! But oh well, it's Hollywood for you. You need to chip in some romance and uh, and the and the guy k- kissing a robot. Okay. 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 But okay. that's that's Hollywood. <laughs> and. <laughs> Yeah. So so yeah. Uh, uh, I rec- uh, we recommend Alita for those who have mm. seen the series. I would really and recommend it. I really recommend it. Talaga. Like if I have to choose between the Hollywood adaptation of Ghost in the Shell and Alita, more favor on Alita, fam. Mm. Yeah. Ayan, and anime ice. Anime. Ice. Ice. Oh yeah, anime ice. <laughs> like oh, okay it took me a while t- uh, on the case of oh, let's talk about Alita's eyes to be honest on the first first 20 minutes of the film it took me a while to get used to it it was really awkward at first man but as as the movie went on you're I got used to it masani ka naman yeah but yung what I actually like about the movie is that the transition of Alita. Makita mo sa ano sa clothes niya, like she used to just wear t-shirts or something and then it evolved into some some from from lolly to hot girl real quick. Yes, real, real <laughs> quick. Real quick. Yeah, and that's just one part of the uh, movie and so you better watch it to realize what we're talking about mm-hmm. about uh, this real quick thing. Yeah. Yeah. I like how I like her bad assery though, but um, ano lang yung turn off ko lang is yung ano yung pag ano lang na okay spoiler alert yung pag ano yung yung pag reveal sa past niya yung parang tidbits ng past yes, niya. It's just tidbits eh. Mm. Uh, so yeah, this is the one that appeals more to those who have seen, seen and read the manga. Uh, I read the manga, uh-huh. which I I understood, but. For a regular like movie goer, the it, it doesn't on, on the eyes of a regular movie goer, no idea the lore or the franchise. You would probably be lost. Like, who the hell is this girl? Okay, she's okay. So she, okay she's like a uh, uh, soldier girl kind of thing. But uh, yeah, and uh, I guess that's Salita. And with that said, we're running at 40 minutes. This is the longest so far that I've did for the podcast. Thank you very much, Serena. Yeah. yeah and yeah. yes. Mag before, mag before AM now, we have like less than two hours to go before the flight. And, and I'm ready na lamigin sa airport. Yeah. Uh, sa airplane. Yeah. Like, so thanks, Asia, for the experience. Really appreciate it. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to Cebu. A uh, few hours to few hours to a taco fest. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, that wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, 
Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at Jayagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.